Come on, bring on the XP, baby. You get out of there. Look at them all just funneling down in there. Getting us our next level, hopefully. Welcome back, everybody, to 70s and I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, it is day 49. We're going to have the horde tonight, um, but the traders also reset, <clears throat> so I'm kind of going back around to them again. I'm not going to show all this on camera because we just did this in the last episode, uh, but anything significant that I am going to get from them, I'll show on camera. Uh, so I think I am going to buy this SMG5 schematic. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's buy that. Uh, Art of Mining Volume 1 adds a small chance to, to mine rare gems for more. We're going to take that. Ranger's Guide to Archery. Uh, shots to the leg with arrows or bolts cripple or slow your opponent. Uh, so yeah, we got some, some good stuff out of there. Uh, I do, in fact, need another uh, Bellows too. Um, but so far, I haven't found one. You know, go figure, right? Uh, from the... This is the third trader I think I've checked this morning. And yeah, he's he doesn't have any bellows either, so that sucks. He does have the leather sofa chair. Uh, I think we already made that though. Uh, yeah, so he doesn't really have anything else. That. I want. I've been doing all the vending machines, so I've got a bunch of stuff here. Uh, can canned food. All right, so let's learn these. Beautiful. All right, I won't be making the SMG until we start putting more points into. Um, Oh, uh, whatchamacallit, it's a uh, hand, hand, gunslinger, uh, because that's what governs the quality of that. But well, at least we can do it now. I also uh, made some upgrades to my... I, I decided to switch out my level 2 sniper rifle for my level 6 lever action rifle and modded it up, and it packs a pretty good punch. Um... It's still not quite doing the damage I'd like it to do on, like, the mountain lions and bears. But it has um, a total damage of 110.2 with these mods on it. And I uh, took the next point in Deadeye, so I'm level 4 in Deadeye. But, I don't know, it's still... I'm still not dropping, you know, the bears and mountain lions as quickly as I need to. Meaning that they're dead before they close on me. So I have to pull out little friend to finish them off. Uh, so let's see, we, we had a mountain lion right over here, right? So let's test this out again. He was just right in front of the... Oh, I think he's still there. I don't have a lot of range on this compared to a sniper rifle. Uh, we only have 50 meters, which is, you know, pretty short ranged, but... Okay, so we have this mountain lion here. And let's just see if we can drop him before he gets to us. Alright, that time, that worked pretty good. Actually, three shots and we, he was down. So, I don't know, maybe the other other one or two that I tried it out on, I tried it out on a bear too, uh, didn't, uh, maybe I wasn't just getting good, good enough shots. Alright, we took his head off. Um, and, you know, we got the the hunter mod on here too, which does an extra 25% damage to all animals. Uh, so we got a pretty beastly hunti hunting weapon here. I'm probably just going to need to, um, you know, get to level 5 in Deadeye. But it looks like we can one-shot normal Zeke's pretty easily. In his case, two-shot, because I don't know if I got a direct headshot on there. I didn't get a headshot off on him. What about you? That's probably a range thing. He's a little beyond 50 yards, so... Yeah. So it's working okay. Uh, I mean, eventually we'll we'll get a true sniper rifle where we have the range and everything, too. Hey, how did that miss? Go down, ugly. Alright, so yeah, it is uh, 1020 AM. I've got a bunch of pipe bombs cooking up back at the base for tonight. Uh, and we are going to... I am going to go ahead and log and, and restart the game if we kill the horde before the end of the night. Several, several of you suggested that I do that, and I think we will. <coughs> because, you know, horde night's my bread and butter when it comes to XP, and I just have not been, been getting that. 
All right, let's see if this guy turns around so we can get headshots. Okay, I'm probably... See, that's not so bad, I guess. I was a little bit out of range maybe with that first shot. So that's part of it, you know. I have to be within 50 meters to get the full effectiveness of the weapon. It would it was probably borderline close anyway. So, okay guys. Um yeah, so I'm gonna just kind of travel around to the traders. I'm on the motorcycle as you can see. Here, let's try this wolf. Um, I mean the the gyrocopter's fun and all, but it's uh It, it, it's it's probably faster because, you know, it can go as the crow flies, but it's a pain in the ass to land and take off, so. Come on, get us. There we go. I just wasn't getting good headshots off onto him. But, I mean, it's it, it definitely works. So, you know, we can, as long as I shoot relatively straight, which, you know, that's a big F for me. <laughs> Uh, we can take these critters down before they close with us in most cases. And if, you know, they do close, we have little friends. So, all right, guys, I'm going to check out the other traders. If I buy anything else significant, uh, meaning, you know, significant magazines, that sort of thing, or high ticket items, I will show that on camera. If everything else, you know, I'm laughter of bellows, but I don't need to show you that. If I find it's not that big a deal. Um... And so I'll, I'll show that on camera. If, if nothing significant else pops up with the traders, I probably won't see you until Horde Night starts tonight. So we'll see you in a while. All right, guys, we are back from our trader runs. Everything that's uh, here in the bike is what I ended up buying. Nothing, no big ticket items. Uh, but we got a few more magazines and a couple mods and another triple pocket mod. Unfortunately, none of the traders had any bellows. Uh, whereas like... <laughs> <laughs> Two or three of them had the last time, but that's okay. We'll either come across one or we'll check them the next time they uh, reset. So anyway, this is all the canned food we're coming home with. I did buy some more potatoes, uh, too, from the traders. And let's see, this is Urban Combat. Take 5% less damage and deal 10% more when indoors. I really like that one. Uh, Archery Volume 7, 20% greater chance of knocking down the target. Uh, we got the Reflex Mod. We'll, we'll do this in a second. Great Heist Volume 7, Motion Detection. I don't care about that, of course, on a single-player game, but uh, the end bonus uh, for the Great Heist is the one that gives you better lock picking. so uh, we want to get to that. And then we got Bar Brawling 5, when in combat, health recovers one hit point with every punch. Okay, let's grab this and see what piece of armor still has a single on it. That's got a double... That's got a double. That's got a double. That doesn't have... Oh, that's got a... Oh, wait. Those are pants, though, right? Okay. So everybody has a, at least a double. Uh, what about you? Oh, you've got a single. Okay, perfect. So this is going to get us two more slots. And, yeah, now we're just three shot uh, slots rather shy of maxing that out. So that's awesome. All right. The rest of that stuff can stay in there. Let's go check our pipe bomb situation um now <clears throat> excuse me we're gonna load this up anything that i have a full stack of which is just this i guess i'm putting in here so these are full stacks of cans uh in here all right and then uh, we did get some some sham so we can make some more sham chowder in fact why don't we get that going well actually you know what though i don't have any corn I need to go just around and, and pick corn from the fields uh, because there's quite a few of them in Alpha 20 now. Um, but that's also going to be an, an off-camera thing it's, uh, when the time comes. We have 79 potatoes, which is really good. we got a ton of meat. Um, so we're doing good on that front. You know what? Actually, we need to eat right now. So let's eat the final sham chowder that we have to get that taken care of. All right. Let's put our candies and stuff in here. Uh, we got a nice little collection of these. We should probably start doing the same thing. So anything that's a full stack, which is all of this. My goodness, we need to. I need to start using this stuff, man. I really do. Um, that we should take with us and just start using every time we get to fat loots. 
This we're going to use on Horde Knight. These we should use during those oh shit moments that I seem to always get myself into. These are becoming less and less useful. Well, you know what? They do give us 10% run speed, don't they? Hmm. Okay. Not completely useless then. And then, of course, hackers we would be using while we're out wrenching carts. So the thing is, is, you know, I've already got some, some supplies in here. So we're just... We're, we're going to have to probably make the 4x4 four four just because of the storage space that it provides, I think. But let's start keeping that stuff in there and start using it because it's not doing any good just piling up in my cupboard here. Um, all right, so let's see. Got a couple more things to put away. Got some testosterone there. This goes here. Uh, this goes here. Those go there. Uh, we s and then I'm going to actually put these in armor that we sell. Like, for example, well, this military leg armor is level four. Let's see how much of a difference in price. So right now it would sell for 117. If we put this on, it bumps it to 180. Yeah, see, it's hardly worth it for for the lower end, you know, green. So the, the rule is blue and above. Let's just check this out, though. Whoops. Uh, this is blue. So that's 544. And that bumps it up to 887. So definitely would be worth doing with the blue. However, I want to keep the blue because if we decide to go a stealth build in a light armor, this is the best military leg armor I currently have. So these we're just going to fix up and sell without putting them on on them because it's it's not worth it uh, to do. Okay, so we'll put these back here uh, for now. And I think that gets all of our inventory sorted back up. Let's get a full stack of 7.62s. Unfortunately, I can't make AP ammo yet. Because um, then if I could, I would make some AP ammo for my sniper rifle or lever action rifle for that extra punch. Now, what I'm hoping for tonight's horde is that we will, you know, get enough points to where I, I want to finish out the perception tree. Well, what I <clears throat> mean by that is I want to get penetrator um, and salvage operations at the very least and maybe even lucky looter up to level four. And then, you know, maybe later on, we'll, we'll get Penetrator all the way up, or I'm sorry, Perception all the way up to 10 so we can get level 5 in those. But I want to get all that stuff to level 4. And then we need to transition back to Strength for a bit. I need to get Boomstick up the, uh, in points because we use our Shotgun a lot and, and we need to get Skull Crusher up. Uh, those two are really important, you know, to the, to the build and I want and 69er. So those three there and then after that we'll probably start focusing on fortitude so i can start getting brawler and machine gun up uh, pain tolerance and healing factor uh those ones in particular and then the huntsman probably too because uh, that would also help this this only gives us more resources though this doesn't actually allow us to do more damage i mean useful but i don't know we'll, i'll think about it i'll think about that okay so i made some more bullet stuff here um Let's do more bullet casings, and we can do some... Wow, shit, 3,000 bullet tips? Good lord, okay. Let's do some buckshot. How many, much of that can we make? 2,000? All right, let's do, say, 1,000 buckshot. I don't think we're going to need to mine lead for the whole rest of this playthrough. <laughs> it's just nuts, man. I mean, I already have 3,000 bullet tips and 1,370 buckshot as it is, you know? So anyway, that's cool though. It's good stuff. It's good to have all that stuff. Bullets for days, man. Bullets for days. Okay, so let's see. We oh shit. Okay, so we got all of those pipe bombs. Um, so I think we have enough for tonight. I we better. I don't, you know what though? Well, no, nah, I don't think we'll go through all of those. But my plan is to just. Throw, throw them almost non-stop. So we could burn through all of those. I don't know. We'll see. What do we got going on in here? We got another stack of gunpowder and some gasoline. Uh, I brought back a full stack of oil shale and then some. And the and then some part is what I just processed there. 
Um, this is a, a full stack of a thousand. We'll put that in there. And then you just, yeah, you're just continuing to work on there. We have 104 minutes still left. So let's put a couple more pieces of wood in there to get that going. All right. So, yeah, you're working on all this stuff. We need 21, 35, 37, 40 ish. Um, more minutes. So let's just add a whole shipload more of wood to this. I'm just going to make it around 50. Close enough. Okay. And what are you doing? You are not doing anything because you're pretty much out of everything except for clay. But you did make me a whole bunch of steel and some arrow steel arrowheads, which is a beautiful thing. Okay. I'm not using the crossbow frequently, so we're stretching those out for quite some time. For you, let's see, how much concrete do we have? we got a lot, but... Not an unlimited amount. So I think I'm going to start this forge back working on concrete because I have some, we're going to have quite a bit of concrete work that I'm going to want to do out uh, side on the exterior of the house. So you start cooking up stone for us. All right, we're in pretty good shape, guys, with all of our stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and take some stuff over to the horde base so that we're ready for the horde night. I think I have all of this stuff um, already in the bike that we can use for medical. Uh, speaking of which, can I make first aid kits in this playthrough? I can't. Okay. Not yet. That's fine. Okay, so let's see. What else do we want? We're going to want... <clears throat> I don't have any learning elixir, do I? Can I make learning elixir? I really want to max... I can Oh, you have to have super corn for this now? That's new. You never used to have to have that. Okay, well, I guess we're not making that then. I don't have any super corn. I haven't even come across it. That sucks, man. Okay, well, Adam Junkies are the star of the show for sure on Horde Night. So we want to... Uh, I guess we put a full stack already in the bike, didn't we? So we're good to go on that. Uh, I don't really need any of the rest of this stuff for Horde Night. Okay. So let's see. Let's check our meds here. So we have stuff for concussions or fatigue, concussions, broken limbs, legs and arms, uh, infections, and we have some extra bandages. And then Adam Junkies we have, of course, for, uh, for our explosive damage, which we're already at level four on that. Anyway, so we're, we're going to do pretty good damage-wise. Um, repairing. You know what? Let's actually just run out to the Horde base, because I may have left some of that stuff out there. I just don't remember. Let's just run out there right now and see what we got. And, you know, um, our game stage... What is our game stage? Is 103. So maybe we'll just... The horde will keep coming all night now. Uh, I don't know. But if it doesn't, we're going to log and uh, start over so we can keep it going for the whole night. Because I want that XP, baby. Absolutely want that XP. Okay. So, well, here. Let's go check and just see what we have in here. Oh, man. I got a lot of shit in here. Wow. Okay. We are we are prepared, man. <laughs> We are prepared. Uh, okay, let's um, put all of that stuff in there. Look at all those explosives. Isn't that just beautiful? All right, so we got food, we got water, we got stuff to repair. We might want to grab a little bit more steel and iron there. Uh, and we have junkies and eye candy for later. We got the big many kits. Yeah, we're we're rocking and rolling, man. We are rocking and rolling. What else is in here? Yeah, let's just grab more of these. And I think that's all we need. Uh, do I have sewing kits for lacerations? I mean, it's very unlikely we're going to get that stuff, but you never know. It is Horde Night. Excuse me. No, I don't. So let's grab at least one of those. Well, no, you know what, though? The first aid kit handles lacerations. Yeah, we don't need those. Forgot about that. The big first aid kits will fix lacerations. 
So the, really the only thing I want to do is I want to bring a little more steel and a little more scrap iron and maybe a full stack of concrete, you know, for repairs and that sort of thing. So we'll put that in there. Let's take, I don't really use these any other time other than Horde Knight. So, but you know, let's keep a couple in the bike anyways, just so we have them. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think we're ready to go for the Horde Knight. Everything should be fully repaired on the Horde base. Uh, let me double check that, but I'm pretty sure that I repaired everything. We'll go uh, down here. We got this band of steel on the second block, which is where they're going to hit the most. And, you know, actually, I have enough steel. Yeah, we got a little tap there. I have enough steel to, to probably upgrade uh, to upgrade this entire pit now. In fact, let's do that. Yeah, let's go back and grab our steel and uh, get that done. Plus, like I said, I want to get some more scrap iron uh, and concrete too. So let's go get that done. Okay, so I've got a full stack of forged steel in my inventory. That basically means we can do 50 blocks. So let's, um, we should be able to upgrade this entire pit with steel. Okay, so we got almost the whole thing upgraded. Uh, we have a little more steel in here. Let's just grab enough of this to do that last block and then um, let's see that would be 50 more so if we yeah I, I, I think I think I'm gonna leave this as concrete for tonight uh, I'll eventually get it upgraded but I want you know I need enough steel to repair afterwards too so okay cool well, that toughened that up significantly. Um, at some point, we'll probably steal up the ramps, too, because the Zombos really like to climb up on these ramps and hit that, too. Let's move this a little bit further away from the base, just so it doesn't take any random damage. And, yeah, I don't think we really need to do much else. I think we're about ready to go here. So let's close that. Uh, all right, so let's get our our toolbar lined uh, or fixed up the way we're going to want it for tonight. So we're going to basically grab all of the explosives. Uh, we're going to want the big Medi kits. Uh, I'll keep a small one, too. Uh, we're going to want the Atom Junkies. So let's, um, let's see. How do I want to do this? We're not going to use this. We might need little friend. We're not going to use this. And we're not going to use this either because we can't. If we end up, you know, well, you know what? I better keep that on the avatar. You just never know. You just never know. Uh, okay, so what we are going to do, though, is let's put the hammer in two. We'll keep all these weapons on us. And we'll have a couple of things there. Uh, for for bombs and then I'll just you know move stuff down okay so we got concrete for repairing and steel those are the the two things that we'll need to keep everything nice and repaired along here uh, as needed so okay cool all right guys well I think we're pretty much ready to go uh, you know what actually I'm I'm gonna move little friend to two and put the hammer there so it's just a little little closer and easier for us to access we never have learned um, nail gun yet, have we? Not yet. We haven't come across the schematic for that. Okay. Uh, if I if I find a nail gun at the trader, I'm just gonna flat out buy it because you know we got the money. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm gonna uh, uh, cut the camera here and just kind of hang out. We have a little less than two more in-game hours before the horde starts, and so I will see you. Uh, when that happens, and hopefully we get a shit ton of XP tonight. So we're about a third of the way to the next level. We are, uh, 
ourselves are level 56. Um, so hopefully, uh, we have 2902 enemy kills too. Just for, yeah, I'll try and remember that to just see how many kills we get tonight. Just for fun. But uh, yeah, hopefully we get multiple levels tonight and we can get perception uh, close to being finished out so we can start focusing on some of the other stuff that we need to do. All right, I'll see you uh, when the Horde Night starts. All right, you guys, it is time for Horde 49. Bring them on. Let's get this party started. Let them build up just a little bit down below. Okay, we're going to pop this and may the explosions begin. Oh, that one got stuck there. Sixty-one hundred. Watch the lower right hand corner of my screen um, to see, you know, the XP coming in. Twenty-six fifty there. Pretty much just gonna be almost non-stop, you know, throwing the pipe bombs. Because we have so many of them. And they're so cheap to make, you know. Uh, that one's a little close. Okay. Let's um hop up here really quick and take care of these idiots. They do seem to, one of you guys mentioned to me in the comments that they seem to path better when I'm standing up here. Uh, and it does kind of seem that way a little bit, doesn't it? Let's get that one down that way. Yeah, it does actually, they do seem to path a little bit better. It's not really safe for me to stay up here, though, because, you know, vultures and cops and that sort of thing. All right, well, let's go back down. We can just always cycle back up, you know, as needed. <clears throat> oh, the spider's caught on the inside there. How funny. So I think what we just do is we we stay, uh, you know, we stay in here for the most part, but occasionally we go out just to clear them off the ramps. Not the perfect design, but, you know, whatever gets the job done, I guess. We're almost to our next level. Okay, now it should take him out. Okay, let's hop back up here. And clear the ramps. Yeah, very interesting. It does seem to encourage them to come down here. Uh, yeah, that's why we gotta watch out for them. Got a copper down there. 3,000 XP for that one. Oh shit, cops are really coming in, man. There we go. Got the next level. Move a couple more stacks down to here. All right, let's hop up here for a second. Clear the ramp. Ramps. Okay, let's head, head back down inside. Alright, 
let's take another um, Atom Junkie. Five hundred XP for that one. That's pretty good. Ten thousand XP. Woot. I think we killed the horde, so what we're going to do is we're going to loot, and then we're going to restart. So let's just take one of those. I'm going to put all of these back in here for the moment so we have some room. Let's get our loot bags, and then we'll start the vicious cycle all over again. Hey, you know what? We've got enough of these to use one more pipe bomb, sure. Take them all out. Almost. You did? You did. Okay. Let's hit the blue ones first. Um. Oh, we already have an impact armor. For a minute there, I thought that was a nail gun. Oh, we need that. Uh, sprinting with 44 gun drawn. Okay. Okay. Oh wow, they actually broke a block out here. That's surprising. That's a nice piece. Okay, we're full. Interesting, okay. Uh, we're gonna have to fix that, which we should be able to do. Um, actually here, let's just put all this stuff in the bag. Let's grab a this and this, and I guess we already have this steel with us, right? Okay. Finish looting. Got a steel chest piece there. Oh shit, you know what I forgot? I forgot to wear these. Damn it, Jim. All right, well, we'll wear them for the, the next round. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's gonna, shit. That's gonna be a frame, so whatever. Uh, do we need any significant repairing? Uh, we'll tap that. Nothing's majorly damaged. Maybe we'll hit that a couple times. I don't have a ton of steel on me anyway. Uh, we can get more back at the base, of course. I think the rest of it's not in too bad a shape. Okay, let's start round two here. So I'm going to restart the game. Uh, we'll just do this. And then, uh, you know, we'll put, we have stuff in, that we can put in the storage chest too. Lift those up. And let's tap this. These guys here, uh, they're barely touched. In fact, I think that's all just explosion damage, splash damage from the explosions. Okay, everything else is looking pretty good. Um, so let me just get all of this stuff in here. We'll grab our bombs back into our inventory. Let's just drink that. We don't need all this nine millimeter ammo. Uh, we don't need that. Here, well, let's eat that right now. And we don't need the recog or the coffee or the salmon. I think we want to keep that stuff with us. All right. 
Yeah, okay. So let's get our bombs back in here. Um, don't need that, that, or that. Okay. All right, I'm going to restart the game, and then we'll do rounds two. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Bring them on, baby. A little bit worried there for a second that they weren't going to come, but yeah, they're coming. Okay, we're almost to the next level. And let's see if we can maybe pull two more levels out of the night. That would be nice. Twelve thousand XP for that one. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome, man. I'm just kind of watching for copper ruskies and vultures because they do seem to path better up here when I'm standing up here. Come on, bring on the XP, baby. You get out of there. Look at them all just funneling down in there. Getting us our next level, hopefully. Oh, that one went off to the side. So far, no cops or vultures. Twelve, almost 13,000 XP from that one. Love it. Will you get the hell out of there? It's not where you're supposed to be. Just throw it right down the gullet there. 11,000 on that one. Nice. Did we seriously kill them again? Oh no, they're they're still coming. I'm going, no way. <laughs> no way can we have killed them again. Not that fast anyways, you know. Okay, let's just bring them back over here and let them build up. One thing I guess I could do is maybe build these walls up a little higher. Okay, here comes a cop. Um, and st stand up there all the time. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Go away, cop. Oh, shit. This will be a good one. We got a 7,000 and an 8,000 out of that. Not too bad. Yeah. Okay, this should be a big one. It is really risky for me to be standing up here, though. Okay, let's go back down here for a little bit because there's another cop coming. Ten thousand XP there. Yeah, we're gonna hit the next level, man. Pretty sure we will. Okay, let's go up and check the ramps. Lots of them gathering around over here. We better tap this. No, oh, it's actually not in that bad of shape. Get out of there. Should get the next level here in one or two more explosions. There we go. 
Very nice. Okay, so three skill points so far tonight. Okay, let's do a ramp check. Got a buzzer too. Get out of here. All right, let's take a health back just just so we're not taking any chances here. Oh, look at that guy spitting right through the thing. We actually got infectinated. Uh, where is our infectination stuff? Oh shit, I don't have... <laughs> oh yeah, we got it right here, okay. It's good, I was looking for the green pills. Seven, almost 8,000 XP on that one. 16,000 XP, but that was... Both of them stacked. Oh, we got an abrasion too. Um, do we have a small bandage for that? There we go. And let's take a health bar too, just to shorten up the effect of the critical. All right, we better we better go do a ramp check here. Man, this this horde seems a little more fierce than the first one, which is fine with me. Bring them on, man. Could just be my imagination. Didn't get any XP on that explosion. There, got some there. I don't know if there's anybody down left down there or not. Okay, we killed the horde twice. You know what? Screw the loot. I want the XP. Let's start it one more time. <laughs> All right, round three. Uh, we're not going to have a lot of time, but we should have a little, little more time left here. We still have some atom junkies going, so we're good on that front. Just let them build up a little bit down there. We're good to start. Let's do it. That'd be amazing if we could get one more level. I don't think we will, but we'll get close. We'll see how it goes. We only have 10 in-game minutes left anyway, so... Alright, let's go up and do a ramp check here. Well, that is it for any new spawns. Let's take care of the rest of them. Get away from the ramps, dudes. Is that it? I still hear... Okay, we got a, a big mama down there. And one more Zombaroo somewhere. Him. Whew, okay. I still hear one. Uh, what we're going to do is, let's put all of these in here. 
And we're going to want um, some eye candy. So let's use that. And I'll worry about repairing later. Let's just grab loot and let's put these back on. Oh, man, I wished I would have remembered to keep those on at the start of the night. I usually do, but just didn't do it that time. So that would have helped. That might have gotten us our last level. I think we're going to have to double this die. We're going to have to double this up. Um, what I'm probably going to do is carve out a whole nother layer here and then put a double wall of steel there. Um, just because they really concentrate right in this spot here. All right, let's uh, check the blue loot first. And then we'll get the yellow. Oh, we got an auger out of the deal. Not a very high level one, but still. Bunch of mining helmets, man. What's up with the mining helmets? There we go. Um, we will learn that. And we got a fuel saver mod. We can use that on the 4x when we either buy it or make it. Another auger. Oh, nice. Okay, hazmat mask. Okay, let's go uh, offload. Uh, let's look at this blue one here, too. Another hazmat mask. Okay, we'll finish that one later. And a blue one here. I'm just looking to see if there's anything really good. I mean, you know, decent stuff, right? But nothing to write home to mother about. Night Stalker Volume 3. Bladed weapons do 10 or more damage at night. All right, we'll take that. Nice little uh, iron sledgehammer and some green military gloves. Not too bad. Anything that's level 5, as we now know, is going to be really good for selling with uh, mods on it. Uh, we already know that corn recipe. Did we check this blue one? Yeah, we got a wheel in there. We'll use that for the 4 by. Antibiotics. Another shit level impact driver. Yeah, we need to get some more lucky looter points going too. There's a nail gun. Awesome. Okay, cool. I was hoping we'd come across one of those. All right, that is it. So let's assess damage. Obviously, this took some <clears throat> major hits here. Um, and I already mentioned what my plan is going to be. So we're basically going to dig out a whole nother row here, put in solid steel behind and have a double layer of steel there. Um, we'll finish getting this upgraded to steel too at some point here, uh, probably for the next Horde Knight. Uh, this, you know, took the usual damage. Uh, we only lost one block, which is actually pretty good if you think about it. Uh, so as long as I stay on top of, you know, keeping the ramps relatively clear, uh, it still seems to work okay. Uh, it is dangerous as hell for me, though, <laughs> you know, to be on top of there during the Horde Knight. So um, I'm thinking about maybe putting two more layers of plates up there um, so you know so I have protection myself and that way I can more safely go up there and you know honestly they seem to you know path better in terms of going down to the pit when I am standing up there so I don't know maybe we stay up there all the time or something uh, there was a couple of times when the Zeeks were able to jump up on each other's shoulders and get up there and get to me it didn't actually happen but it looked like a soldier was going to get up there so i mean you know but that's going to be a very rare occurrence and if it does happen then you know we just use our shotgun or whatever to to deal with them if it's something that could happen a lot then i'd be more concerned with it this door took a little bit of a beating but nothing nothing we need to really worry about so yeah i've got some work to do here of course uh, getting things repaired and doing some more upgrades so yeah i think what i'm going to do is um you know the game will tell me with the shading if the si starts getting iffy so as long as i can put two more plates uh up there 
without <clears throat> it, you know, starting to turn pinkish. I think we'll be okay SI wise with that. And in fact, yeah, we shouldn't have any trouble at all because technically these plates are holding each other up uh, as if I had actual blocks in there. So I actually, the more I think about it, I'm not even really worried about that. And then, um, but, but aside from that, I think that's what we'll just go with this same setup again for the next Horde Night. If I decide that I'm going to stay up there all of the time, we might not even need this arrow block in here, but we'll see. So what I'm going to need to do, guys, of course, is mine a shit ton of iron and make a shit ton of of steel ingots um, between now and the next Horde Night. So I will be working on that. And when I bring you guys back in the next episode, uh, we will we'll probably go do another Tier 4 quest. And then we have another, you know, we have more House Flipper episodes that we need to do too. There's a little bit more interior work to do in the house. I want to finish the bathroom, the kitchen, the upstairs. And then we have a lot of exterior work to do too. So we have, I'd say we have probably anywhere from three to four more house flipper episodes in total left before I get everything done on this house that I envision doing. So uh, yeah, more content to come. Now, I do want to give you a heads up. Um, I have been informed that Undead Legacy is now um, updated for Alpha 20. So it, as of right now, and I always reserve the right to change my mind, <laughs> okay, but as of right now, um, it is my tentative plan to start a new series on Undead Legacy when we're finished with the vanilla series, okay? I am going to finish this series first, um, and, you know, I don't know how many more episodes in this series we have. I would say um, pick up frame shapes. Really? I can still pick those up even after they're upgraded? Oh, you know what? I didn't upgrade them, did I? Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to fix that because I don't want to accidentally pick one of those up. Anyway, um, I'm not sure how many more episodes we'll have in this series. Could be another, you know, half a dozen to a dozen, uh, but not too many more. I, I, I do want to try an Alpha 20 Tier 5, so we have to get through the Tier 4 system and get into tier five so we'll you know we'll do probably one of those at least uh tier fives are really hard to do on a let's play though just because it takes so long to do them which is a thing will you die thank you uh so we'll see how things go but yeah it is my intention uh, as of right now to start undead legacy an undead legacy series after we're done with this now unlike my uh, alpha 19 undead legacy series where i had um, a horde every night. I'm not doing that guys horde every night is not fun. It just it gets so old uh, After a while. Yeah, sure the XP is good and stuff But it just it makes it so hard to do everything else uh, When you have to deal with the horde every night, so I'm not gonna be doing that. We'll probably just do normal seven-day hordes uh, You know like we've done in this series, but man, I'm looking forward to undead legacy It is one of my favorite overhauls of this game. All right guys That is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to this channel Leave a comment and share out the video uh, take a look at the join button if you're interested in a membership on the YouTube uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, the main benefit of that is you get to play on our multiplayer service with the awesome old guy gaming community. And there's a couple other fun perks too. So take a look at that if you're interested. And guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye bye.